Okay, this is training mission for um, ILS landing at Batumi. This is just a demonstration. I'll engage the autopilot and the altitude hold. I've brought up the controls indicator using the right control enter. I have my throttles adjusted to maintain the uh, airspeed. TACAN stands for Tactical Air Navigation System and provides you with Okay, that was just me enabling uh, track IR. ILS, or Instrument Landing System, will enable you to land in very low or even zero visibility by providing horizontal and vertical guidance just before and during landing. First, you have to make sure that both of these instruments are set to ON. To enable your TACAN, you have to set the mode selector to desired setting. For ground station, you will want to put it in the TR mode. For airborne station, most commonly your tanker, you will have to switch it into AA mode. Go ahead and make sure that your TACAN is in TR mode. Press spacebar when ready to continue. OK, as we can see, it's... Uh in TR mode, so I can press spacebar. Good. Now you should set the correct TACAN channel to start communicating with Batumi Station, 16X. Make sure that the band selector is set to X and use the frequency selector knobs to dial in 16. You should hear a Morse code signal informing you that you are tuned to the correct frequency. If you don't hear it, Use the volume panel on your left console to increase the pack and volume. The oh. space bar when ready to proceed. Okay, these are the volume knobs. That one's for Takan and this one's for ILS. Just have to wait for the uh, I beacon ID to transmit. Now I forget what it is for Batumi. It might be BT. But, uh, I can uh, switch to the F10 map. Yeah, just take off the grids. Let's have a look. No. The uh, letter code is KBL. No, that's Cobaletti. What am I talking about? Where's Batumi? Batumi's down here. And BTM is the letter code for Batumi. So that was almost right. Let's go back to the cockpit and hit the spacebar. Onto the ILS. Even though it won't catch the signal from our current distance, you need to set it up way in advance. Make sure your ILS is set to on. Press spacebar when ready to proceed. OK. Marsh, M is for French for on. It's, it's on. So I'll just hit spacebar. Now select the correct frequency using both modes. For Batumi, you should dial in 110.30 MHz. Also, bear in mind that on this particular airport, the ILS only works for only one three, for which the magnetic heading is 119 degrees. It is worse to note this down, so let me repeat. 119 degrees. Press uh, spacebar when ready to proceed. OK, ILS is tuned to 110.3. We can hear the ILS ID. I'll hit spacebar. Now it is time to contact the tower and inform them that you are beginning your approach. Batumi is on channel 1 of your green heading. The tower will provide you with the best heading to get aligned with the runway, so change your course according to instructions. Press spacebar when ready to proceed. OK, he's told us to tune in to channel 1 for Batumi. At the moment the green radio is on channel 2, so I need to hit 1. Validate to select channel 1. I'll then use um, 
the green radio button, VHF radio button or the communications button. I'll just quickly jump out to um, adjust controls. This is the communications button that you can bind. This is my keyboard for the UK. Um, another option is the you got the red radio menu button which is for the UHF radio and we've got the green radio menu button for the green radio so we could use the green button or the communications button depending on how you've bound your controls okay Use the communications button on my joystick, ATC, Batumi, inbound. On your right exercise, select the Taken mode. You will note that the double arrow will point you towards the Batumi Taken station and give you the slam trench. You will remember that the runway 13 heading is 119 degrees. Wait for the arrow to get to around 121 degrees and then start your turn towards the airfield. Okay, that's the Taken station. As we can see, up the arrow's at um, 110 degrees, so we've flown past the uh, localizer. So I'm actually going to do a right hand turn to get back onto the uh, required heading. Now I could fly it manually, but I'll just use the trim hat as I'm in autopilot mode. and uh, fly it on autopilot because it flies it much smoother than I do by hand Um, the, my object is to uh, intercept hundred and twenty degrees at about a forty five degree angle. So that would be hundred and twenty minus forty would be eighty, so about seventy five degrees intercept. Now, although he doesn't have, hasn't said to switch to waypoint two, I'm going to do that anyway. So, at the moment, we've still got waypoint one selected, which is behind us. But I want to select waypoint two. I use the increment button. Waypoint two is 39 nautical miles away. This yellow line on the ADI is the localizer signal. Once it 
comes alive it'll come across towards the centre and just before it uh, lines up with the centre that's the point I want to turn at just have to be patient and let it uh, fly I'm just waiting for the uh, for this line to line up with uh, 120 degrees on the HSI as as at that point we should be uh, lined up with the runway which is somewhere over there presumably about 33 32 nautical miles away okay we can see this is on the move so it's time to make our turn You should now be at the correct path for battery. Descend to 3000 feet and keep that altitude. Also, constantly monitor your speed which should not exceed 280 IAS at this stage. It is time to set up your plane for approach. OK, I'm going to use the trim hat to... First, select waypoint 2 which corresponds to battery. Put the uh, aircraft into uh, a if you're not landing at the 5 degree dive the plan, and pull the throttle, the throttle back. Into the IS. Next, on your PCA, press the APV button which will put you in the approach mode. Okay. It will enable the display of ILS cues on your head and will also let you see the synthetic thunder symbol which will show up when you are less than uh, 10 miles from the airport and if you have entered the heading and glide slope of the runway into your ILS. You may want to raise your seat to increase your fuel body. Also, make sure that your radar altimeter is on. It is not that crucial for this landing as we are currently over water, but over the land it will make a difference. Okay, this is the synthetic runway centerline projected onto the ground as we're in app mode. You can see a dashed line extending from the center of your horizon line which is pointing either to the left or to the right. This shows your deviation from the runway threshold, so it is a good time to correct your heading. If the line points to the left, you should gently turn left and wait for it to move towards the center okay. of the head. In other words, I'm just going to you need to fly directly above it and follow it out to the runway. Remember to return to the correct heading once you set the localizer name. In this case, one Okay, that's an alarm for Apart from the localizer alarm, bingo warning. you can see a box, which is your glide slope indicator. You want to keep your flight path marker in the box and keep the box over the dashed line during the now you can fly manually by keeping the flight path marker in the box and using using the uh, throttle to, to manage your speed, airspeed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage the autopilot localizer and glide slope here. As you close to the runway threshold, place your flight path the marker on the closer edge the of the runway. The L has also try lit to up in green, meaning it's captured the localizer. You will notice the uh, bars glide slope is in amber as we haven't captured the glide slope yet. During landing, you will want to keep the vector shavings between the AOA lines, which will give you a 14 degree angle of attack. Perfect for landing. Don't forget to examine your landing. From this moment, try not to use the stick, but instead regulate your angle of attack by increasing or decreasing speed. I'm going to increase the seat height. I'm going to reduce when my air speed. When the go down on the AOA lines, increase the speed. If they get too high, reduce it. Keep your flight pass marker on the runway edge. As the aircraft slows down, the it noses up. So I need to uh, just in 
increase the airspeed ok the u-shaped box has become a full box showing that it's detected the glide slope the landing light the landing gear light is lit meaning it wants us to drop the landing gear still quite a long way out um, the synthetic runway has appeared in the distance so I'll drop the landing gear and you can see it's increased drag so I need to uh, just increase the throttle a little bit to manage it so there's the runway up to me um, the ground fog the ground fog in this mission isn't really supposed to be this white out this is because of the new DCS weather um, and, um, which doesn't support the old fog yet um, there'll be new fog coming at some point so that's why it's such a pea super it's, um, much more difficult to see and land than it would have been ok so it's just coming in nice and quietly let's just check three greens landing gear is down just coming in a little fast because that's what I prefer ok you can see the uh, glide slope is coming down on the ADI aircraft starting to descend so I'm going to just reduce the throttle a little bit to try and maintain this 160 170 knot approach radar altimeter okay so again I'm going to use the communications button on my throttle request landing we're five miles from 5.6 miles from the Takan oh, from the waypoint I should say 4.6 from the Takan on the HSI Just come in nice and steady, have my hand on the throttle all the way down. Fuel is still good. Getting close. Placing my hand on the throttle. Altitude is uh, 730, 740. Obviously, we can't see a thing, but we can see the synthetic runway and the centre line. So we know it's there, unless the instruments are lying or there's a fault somewhere in the system. Coming down at 400. coming in nice and smoothly at 200 foot we'd have bought but we've just trees have just come into vision now autopilot off just passed over the piano markers okay we're down air brakes out well done you have landed Taxi wheel brakes on Autopilot to uh, cancel. And there we go. 
down nice and safe and the aeroplane flew itself most of the way. So hope that helps. Um, fly safe and I'll see you in the skies.